Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kosak. Very kind words. I'm so excited to be here, see this group full of energy. Super exciting day we have today. And what we are going to have is a celebration to the researcher that is going on in our uh, different labs. This is the student day. And we have the research day in this format with posters at the um, spring session. Then we have the second one around December, where we're going to do more demonstrations, as we tested last year. It was very successful. I'm so happy to welcome you again, students, researchers, government representatives from industry as well, faculty. It's really great to see your loyalty, your interest, your commitment, and I'm really very proud of the students and the support that we have around us. So before I start, I have about 25 minutes, but I couldn't miss uh, this slide here. This is our master of ceremony, Sam. So congratulations, Sam. He's leaving the VPI. He was an uh, MC for um, three occasions and different seminars. Now it's time to move on, and we wish you very well. So really, uh, we're going to uh, miss you very much, uh, Sam. The only thing that I want to acknowledge is the group that is behind this event. Uh, this is the team doing curling. This is the Bioproducts Institute uh, staff members, the crew that is really organizing, activating, putting all the work to make this happen. I'm very proud of them. Super loyal group of people since uh, about five, four years working together. This is really great, and this is one of the nicest activities I would suggest you can try, curling. I also acknowledge those that are on top there, uh, Ayako, who is the one who was making these 3D uh, key holders, that's very nice. Her hands, you can feel here because this is all made by hand and you can feel it, so thank you, Ayako. Uh, also, I would like to acknowledge, of course, uh, Kelly O. Where is Kelly? Uh, I want to uh, offer you a round of applause for really your commitment. And <laughs> Kelly is behind all of this happening together with the VPI team. And then in the rest, we see all the faces of people that you see very often in our labs. Here I have included the, um, the mechanical uh, energy reduction mechanical pulping crew, very important. They are operating in the pulp and paper center, so I would like to acknowledge uh, to them because they are part of the VPI, very important part of VPI. As I said earlier, last year we have an exciting event. We call it Connect 2023. Uh, it was opened by my uh, dear friend, department head, Chip Hines, who is uh, present here. Thank you, Chip, for all your support, your loyalty as well. It's really great to have you here today. At that time, we have really an amazing, as you can see, a number of attendees, uh, and it was really very exciting to celebrate December and the end of the year in this way. I want to tell you a little bit more about uh, what happened after this event, actually, uh, and I use this to highlight the importance of bio products. I went to my home country in Venezuela. Venezuela is a country that uh, maybe uh, is about 30 million people and about uh, five, six million people have left the country because of many reasons. And I had a wonderful time after, after visiting there uh, maybe 20 years ago, believe it or not. And one of the nicest experiences that I had is uh, going to a museum with this uh, fellow that you see in the video. He's an artist, he's a world famous artist that really collects toys and has a toy museum. And one thing that I learned there that is important maybe to link what we do is that the earlier toys were actually a stick, rocks, and a stone. It evolved to wood, and then with time, it was converted more to celluloids, tin, plastic, but guess what? Now, the nicest toys are made from wood, right? And this is what we envision for the future. Having a future that really evolves around recyclable, regenerative materials. And if you don't believe me that this is an important subject, I will tell you a second story. I went to see Oppenheimer three times because uh, the first time I went to the movie theater, I realized there was a quote that I wanted to capture. I, I don't know if this quote is for real or not, but it's there. 
I went the second time, I couldn't take a notes. Finally, in my trip over to Japan, I had the uh, airplane, uh, the screen, and I was able to stop the screen and take note. And this is the quote by Godel, besides uh, Albert Einstein. Trees are the most inspiring structures. So this is very cool. And I tell my students, you have to have your own signature. And today, I'm wearing my own signature. The bow tie that I use is made of wood. The watch that I use is made of wood. The key holder that I have, thanks Ajaku again, is from wood. This is the way to go, really. And I'm leaving this idea. Maybe a second idea is that the blazer that I use is 25 years old. We need to really uh, make sure that we prolong the life of the materials that we use, and at the end of life, recycle it. So I graduated with this blazer 25 years ago. So this is a couple of messages. These are a couple of messages that I think are relevant. And that all can be summarized in the mission of the Bioproducts Institute, is to convert a society that depends on uh, fossil carbon, on uh, hydrocarbons, into a carbohydrate society. And that transition is extremely difficult, but it's possible. And we start to see how this is evolving. And I can promise you, all the students and researchers in the future, there will be many opportunities enjoying cotton candy. That is the carbohydrate-based society. So that's our mission in a simple words, in a more complicated, complex words. This is BPI mission, really. Synergize an innovative ecosystem so that we have the proper infrastructure and people around us work together to develop uh, well root science that can then find applications. That's what we do in the BPI. And since many of you here are new, I want to maybe also acknowledge how we are organized. These are the themes or the subject areas that we work on. This is how we are divided. In the pictures, you can see the theme leaders. Is that, that's the way we call. By the way, here we have uh, Lindsay Eltis, who is around. And thanks to him, we have today this event here, because uh, um, he found a way for us to waive the fees for uh, this location. So thanks uh, to him. I acknowledge his, uh, his, his uh, contribution here. Very important here, led by Kinshi too, that I saw sitting around. He's leading something that is becoming more and more relevant. And that will be what comes to really have an access, an idea of the environmental, social, techno-economic impact. And he synergizes a group of people working in this area. Beyond those that are the group leaders, let's call them that way, we have a number of faculty engaged and the research groups. This slide really captures all the talent that we have in the BPI, about 60, 50 faculty best in the world, coming from different disciplines at the top of the game. You can see that by the statistics. I need to report to you what you see here. Amazing talent that we have, and this is thanks to the university, the support of the university, and the amazing students that we have. So those numbers that you see around are reflected here. I just want to report to you that the last few years have been extremely successful as far as number of publications, securing funding, synergizing, synergizing the graduate students, the postdoctoral researchers, and making sure that we receive recognition and our people receive the recognition in Canada and beyond Canada. At the end of the day, really what matters are the students. And I want to reemphasize this idea. BPI really is successful because of the students that we're celebrating today. That's really uh, the main statement here. And I want to give you some few examples how our students are doing, how they fare in the Canadian context and in the global context. You can see here the BPI researchers winning poster oral presentations around the world. Two of the five finalists in the 3M competition in the university came from BPI. Many of the awards given in chemical engineering came from students, researchers in BPI. Students coming to the European 
polysaccharide network in Austria. Our students won Fritz Prizes. Same for the Japanese International Society, celebrated in Hiroshima last year. Likewise, Fritz Prizes. And I can go beyond those uh, different conferences, and I can tell you this is what we have. So I'm very proud of them, and I want to offer uh, applause to the students that are here showing the posters and representing us so well around the world. And I apologize, I'm sure I'm missing many faces here. This is what I grabbed this morning in LinkedIn. <laughs> so you can imagine this. Now, what do they do when they finish their careers with us, like some? This is what they do. This is a long list. You don't need to read them in detail, but you see in bold what they do. They are becoming professors around the world, in Austria, in Germany, here in Canada, in the Netherlands, very successful, best of the best. I need to say that because this is what we are, BPI. BPI is in, at the top of the world, and we need to be very proud of this and tell the world what we're doing. So this is our alumni. This continues the list, and this happens because here we had the opportunity to carry out research, connect with each other, that's very important, and educate. And here I want to recognize uh, Dr. Rob Kosak, who you just met, who is leading in the forest sciences, a really amazing ecosystem for research and education. This is very good. And I want to give an example that is, I think, very important. The Bioeconomy Sciences and Technology Best program that is led by Scott Renecker is really amazing. And I believe that there are many students here that are coming from the best program. I know in BPI we have at least five interns coming from the best program, and undergraduate program, best in the world. So this is really, really great. So transitioning from research and students to creating impact, I want to tell you a little bit more about uh, the subject, and Richard Sons will perhaps talk a little bit about that at the very end. But we have this accelerating technology readiness. This is led by Richard Sons, and the idea here is to really translate what we do at the bench scale into something that is more ready for investment or for commercialization. This is only about a year and a half since we started, but it's already paying very good uh, fruits. There are many examples here. The fact that funding is coming our way, we're just giving our baby steps, but I can report to you that there are many good things that we need to feel proud about. The bottom one I want to highlight, and this is uh, given the contribution from the uh, Ministry of Forest uh, here in the local BC government, they started to channel some funding to us, quite sizable, to look into opportunities to translate the knowledge from our labs to something that can create an impact. So really my thanks to them. This has been really amazing. Some of the projects that they are funding are listed here lignin to carbon materials, aerogels for insulative clothing, wood leather, catalysts for uh, forever chemicals removal from water, microbes for cosmetics, lignin-based plastics, and carbonized lignin particles for CO2 capture. There are at least two or three researchers here that are working in the bottom one. In the second call for innovations, there are many more, and I hope that you can see and learn a little bit about what they do in the posters that we see around. This is really exciting. And notice that we're going beyond pellet, timber, that are so critical for Canada and British Columbia, but we need to nowadays add value and do more with less. Fiber access is limited, and we need to create value, and these are examples of what I'm saying. To put this in pictures, I also want to tell a little bit about the different startups, companies that have had some relation with the BPI. Biofilament, very loyal company that has been supporting BPI work. They're always coming to these events. I'm so happy to see this. And all the others as well. There is one in particular that I want to tell because uh, it's uh, quite interesting, it's Bioform. About a week ago, it was announced that a 
Pulp and Paper Company in Brazil called Susano invested $5 million in this company. So these are the things that are possible, and it's a very good example of what uh, um, leaders like Mark Martinez and Jordan uh, McKenzie are able to do, and really to create opportunities where, again, we add value to the fiber resource. So congratulations to them. We have also Feng Shan. This was highlighted in the Connect last time that we met. Uh, he's looking into the production of insulation foams with a First Nation business um, partner, and this is really going very well. And I can continue giving you a list of different opportunities, and what is interesting here is that we observe that many of the companies that are knocking the door of the BPI are consumer products companies. We're talking about Apple. We're talking about Unilever. You can read some of those, Champion X and others. Really interesting to see that that pool is coming to BPI, and I think this is a great opportunity. One of the partners that we have are related to the new clusters. Here we can see um, Anuva sitting here, leading the future packaging cluster. That was announced this year, so this is great. Um, Stephen Halland with engineering microbial cell clusters. So all of this has been, in one way or the other, use a BPI to uh, look into this uh, possibility and becoming a reality with this uh, cluster program that the university offers. The other um, nice partnership that we have is the Sustainable Alternative Fibers in North Carolina, and I want to acknowledge my colleague uh, Joel Pollack that is there. He comes all the way from North Carolina. Uh, he gave yesterday a nice ser seminar, and uh, it's really great to reconnect with our friends in the US, in this case, North Carolina. And I will tell with one slide later about our partnerships across the ocean with uh, the Boreal Alliance. But first, coming locally, um, we have representatives from industry. They are meeting as I speak. They have a meeting that we have every month, so they are in those meetings, and some of them will come later for lunch. And this is the Bio Alliance with the pulp and pepper companies that are operating in the region. This is really great. Great partnership here with industry. We need them, they need us. The other partnership that is very important is uh, uh, Bioproducts Institute, uh, the FP Innovations. So I see here FP Innovation represented. This is really relevant to us, critical for us. The missions are quite different, and we need to work together. So I'm so happy to see you here attending this event. Border Alliance, this is international sort of arm of the BPI. You can see uh, a little bit of a picture taken from one of the recent meetings. Very active, really important in devising programs, funding for a student exchange, for sharing infrastructure, and also for more or less advising policy makers and regulation entities. This is working already in the European Union. Our partners in FinCERES, Alto University, Luque, have a presence in, in, the, in Brussels in the European Union Parliament and have a say. This is very important for us to connect with the decision makers and really to make a difference because in those decisions, usually the forest products, the biotic sources are not well represented. It's very important to realize this and take action. Another thing that I want to highlight is our partnership with UBCO. For December, I hope that the uh, invited speaker or the opening will be given by UBCO representative. We have been there, and it's really great opportunity. There is great talent, great infrastructure, and we need to really work with them very closely. Here we have Mohammed Ashman, who also comes from UBCO. Thank you, Mohammed, for coming. He brings about four students that are participating with posters, and this is so critical for uh, our campus also to work together and synergize. Now, People outside may not understand cellulose and lignin, and this is very important that we communicate, and this is one strategy that VPI has done. In this slide, I put a little bit what I mean. Having a presence in the Vancouver Art Gallery is one example of uh, what we should do so that we reach out to society at large and we explain why using in a sustainable manner fiber resource is critical for our future. So that's one example. 
Likewise, you can see other partnerships, in this case also with um, um, Emily Carr University, and the First Nation representatives working in Emily Carr. This has been very important for us, and many initiatives happened last year together with them. Um, government, I already mentioned this, very important, but you see here, it's not about writing papers. This is important, but in the future it's more about social impact, communication, and creating opportunities to produce job, jobs and also to create nice science and business opportunities. That's what shows here. A couple of more things. Equity, diversity, and inclusion. BPI is very active in this area. I list here a little bit of the recent activities. You can now realize that this is really something working very well. And in this event, we have consideration for that, and there is an award to EDI poster, given the inclusion of these concepts that are very important for us. Now, BPI has a limited time span, and I want to tell you what we're doing so that we prolong our life, so that we create an impact. Four years is very little. We want to go for much more years, right? Much many more years. And one thing that we engage with is with Applied Sciences, our, our Dean James Olson and the Development Office really are supporting the BPI to look into opportunities for fundraising. And here I would like to uh, acknowledge the people that are sitting around the table. This was in Hong Kong, where there is a large alumni base from UBC that really have an opportunity for um, contributing to BPI with venture capital and donations, I believe. Some of those activities are always fun and very meaningful. You can see here what we did in Hong Kong. Uh, that was in November last year. An amazing panel discussion with about the same size uh, room uh, where we had a workshop. And here I uh, recognize the faculty that you can see here, Heather Trajano who gave an amazing talk and engaged in questions and answers in a, in, a, in a masterfully way. Out of the oven, Monday and Tuesday, we had the opportunity to travel with the UBC president to Ottawa and connect with the government, politicians, NRC, NRCAN, um, and that was really amazing, and I want to report to you that it's important to also work internally what we do with our leadership. And all the deans in forests, in applied sciences, in science, and in food and land are very loyal partners with VPI. Now we have also the president that you picture in the far right. Very important advocate for budget products. Finally, there are many things going on. I invite you to check our monthly newsletter. I hope if you are not in the uh, mail list, let us know so that you get the newsletters that we send every month. We have seminars going on very often, almost once a month, twice a month. Please come to those seminars. Yesterday we had one. Next week we will have another one. And I would like to advertise it because it relates to the use of bark with nice scientists here that you see in the bottom, engaging with the Ministry of Forests and First Nations to look into the valorization of bark. Amazing opportunity to learn and do. This is all I wanted to say, but before I finish here, I want to acknowledge all the poster judges that we have here. This is a very interesting uh, way that we set the poster session. There are more judges than posters. <laughs> So students will have an opportunity to interact really with the different uh, representatives from faculty, in industry, staff, and also postdoctoral students and researchers in UBC. So they are going to be looking for you, talking with you, and I want to um, really give a big thanks to all of them for joining us today. This happens because of you. I appreciate very much your participation and your support. I think this is all for me by now. Please check our annual report. There is a QR code there that you can check if you want to learn more details about this. But my idea was to give you a little bit of an update what, is, what BPI is doing and what is ahead of, uh, of us, right? So thank you for listening, and I hope that you have uh, a great day today. We start with the poster session, Sam, but you can take over and give us uh, directions now how the poster will go, right? Thank you so much. Thank you.